there guys, Silverplay22 here bringing you my first ever International Man of the Match card review. Now today we're going to be looking at Christian Quaver, but before we do, how good do these International Man of the Match cards look? They look absolutely amazing this year. I mean, compared to in the in the past, I think the last ones we had were the green ones from the World Cup, am I right in thinking that? And yeah, they looked cool, but these ones with the sort of, you know, the, the scale of colours, is they're absolutely awesome. I really like them. And especially on Quaver, it looks so cool because it matches his, 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 his nation and his team really nicely. It looks like such a cool card. The rest of the uh, International Man of the Match cards that have come out as far as silvers go don't look amazing um th there's one striker guy who looks quite pacey and stuff but i i, I sort of you know, I was drawn to Christian Quaver a little bit because of that pace and dribbling. So he's got 81 pace, 80 dribbling, 60 shooting, 70 passing. He's got four star weak foot, three star skill moves. And I picked him up for 31k, but I'm assuming that's going to drop over time, to be honest. I played him as a centre forward in this team, but obviously he starts off as a cam. Now, when we go and have a look at his in-game stats, we can see that he has, he has really decent acceleration, agility and balance. Uh, his sprint speed is good enough. His strength and his stamina are horrendous as far as, t you know, any cards go, never mind silvers. Um, it, you, you look at his skill attributes, it, they're, they're quite good. He's got dribbling that's decent. I mean, I'm sort of spoiled a little bit, as I've said before, by the team of the seasons that have been coming out with insane stats. This is kind of a decent-looking in-form card. He's got medium-low work rates. He's 30... He's, uh, 23 years old, five foot six, and he can play cam, left wing, or left mid, which is weird because his crossing was really poor. His passing was okay. His finishing was, it was, it was all right in the box. But when it came to like long shots and stuff, his long shots were some of the worst I've ever used. He seemed to not be able to hit the target no matter how many shots I had with him, which was, which was pretty crazy to be honest. He's incredibly weak, so he, he gets knocked off the ball very easily. Although he's He's weird. His balance was quite good, so he sort of he, he sort of tried to nudge people off the ball, but he didn't have the strength to really do it. His reactions were pretty low. Like he, he seemed to, you know, if he lost the ball, you weren't going to win it back. But some positives, though, you know, his his dribbling was pretty solid. You know, he he didn't really find it too difficult to get around people, which was good. But then if you can get around people, but you have no end product, is, is there really any point in getting around people in the first place? You know, he could lay the ball off to people. Okay, I mean it's. His passing, I'm not saying it was great, I'm saying it was above average, but it, not nothing spectacular. Relatively fast, you know, not nothing, he wasn't sluggish or anything, he, you know, he, he could burst away from people, but not rapid, certainly not rapid. Um, it, when You can see his positives and negatives here, as I've said. Stamina is a massive one for me because he, he drifts out of position so much, like, it, you, you lose him a little, bit, a little bit in the game, and because of that that couple with the 33 stamina make him like he's run out of energy by just after half time which is mental uh for the verdict i've been quite i've been quite strict with him here i've given him a 6.6 6 out of 10 uh, uh, some people might like this card but he just felt like like his normal card is a, a sort of cheap beast like he's, he's a non-rare and it's quite exciting to have a player like that but he doesn't even feel too much better than his non non-rare card a little bit better but you know certainly not a, a six upgrade or whatever he got it feels like a 72 to a 75 i think that's probably fair and i wouldn't certainly pay any more than 20k for this card anyway guys let me know if you've tried this card out or if you've tried any of the other international man of the match silvers and also a little extra question just before the end chat which silver players do you think could get an international man of the match as euro continues and for end chat properly, who do you think will score the most goals at the Euros? Who will be the top the top scorer, the golden boat boot player? Will it be Ronaldo, Muller, you know, Jamie Vardy <laughs> with a shout, maybe, Harry Kane, someone like that? Let me know in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Cheers, guys.